Hello, it's Marco Matos here for Markham 3D, and in this video, I'm going to show you the very basics of rigging a mechanical device and a more of a bendy device, or such as kind of like an arm or an elbow or something. So let's start off with rigging the mechanical device. Now I've got the origin point down the bottom here. I'm going to press Shift A to add in an armature, and I'm going to go single bone. Let's press Z to just go into wireframe mode. Let's press Tab to go into edit mode. From here, I'm just going to press E to extrude along the Z axis, and we're going to separate kind of these two parts. So if we kind of have a look from here, we can see that this is the rotation point in this pin here. Let's press numpad three, go to side view. And if we select this piece here, we can see that the armature is not actually sitting at the center point. So let's go shift S cursor to selected. I'm gonna select our armature and press tab to go back into edit mode. Let's select this point, shift S again, selection to cursor. Now we know that this bend point or this joint point is the center of this pin, which is exactly what we want. What we need to do now is assign the pin to the armature. So I'm going to select our pin, shift left click and select our armature. From here, I'm going to press control P to parent and I'm going to use with empty groups. So at the moment, if I go into pose mode and we select this bone and we rotate, we can see that it's not being affected by anything. So let's go back into object mode and let's select our pin now. And we can see over here on the right hand side under vertex groups that we have bone and bone 001. So this will be our bone because that was our first one. And then this one here is bone 001. Now it's very important that we name our bones correctly before we do all this. Because if I were to rename one of these bones, then the vertex groups will no longer match the armatures. So from here, let's go into edit mode. I'm gonna select everything and we're gonna do bone 001, which is this top bone. We're gonna make sure we have 100% weight and I'm gonna click assign. And then from here, if I go into object mode, select our armature and we go into pose mode, I can now rotate and you can see that this piece here is now rotating with this bone. Now let's do it with the other section. Let's go back into object mode. I'm gonna select this and then shift a left click on our armature, make sure the armature is selected last, control P to set our parent with empty groups once again, select our object. Now we go back into edit mode. We can see that we've got our two bones. Now I've already got the top part selected. From here, bone 001, which is that top bone. I'm gonna hit assign. I'm gonna press control I to invert our selection. Select the vertex group bone, which is the bottom one, assign. And now if I go into back into object mode with tab, let's select our armature, let's go pose mode. And then if we rotate along the X axis, you can see that we're rotating this mechanical part very simply. Now let's come over here and have a look at this piece. This piece here, we're gonna bend it as if it was an arm. So let's just press numpad three to go into side view. What I'm gonna do is select this face here on the end, shift S cursor to select it. Tab to back into object mode, shift A armature at a single bone. And we want the head of this bone or the tail of this bone to be all the way on this side. So let's go back into object mode on this one, select our edge piece, shift S cursor to selected, tab to into object mode, select our armature, tab to edit mode, shift S selection to cursor. And now we've just got one bone, but we want it to bend. Now the cool thing is, is we can actually select the bone, right click, subdivide. Now I've already put the subdivisions into this pipe here that we have, or this bar. So let's go into object mode. Let's select our bar and then shift left click on our armature. Control P to set parent. And this time I'm just gonna go with automatic weights. From here, let's select our armature into pose mode. I can select our end bone and rotate. And there we go. We have it rotating. Now, just like before, if I go into pose mode, select our bar, we've got our two vertex groups here for this armature. And if I were to go into edit mode, I could actually change how much is being affected by the bone. So for instance, this whole section here, I don't want it to be 100%, it's gonna look terrible, but I don't want it to be 100% affected by bone 001. Let's just go 0.5 and I'm gonna hit assign. And now if I go into object mode, select our armature into pose mode. And if we rotate now, it's still being affected. And that's because the total sum isn't 100%, it's only 50%. So it's just gonna round up. So let's go into object mode and let's select this. Back into edit mode, we're getting there. And what I'm gonna do is assign 50% to our bone. So this one back here. And now we should get some terrible results. Pose mode, rotate, and there we go. Some yuck results. Now what we can do as well is we can go back into object mode. Let's select our pipe. And rather than going to edit mode, we can go into weight paint mode. 
And now we can see that we've got the vertex group bone selected. So we know that this is the bone selected. Red is 100%, green will be 50% and blue is zero. So if I were to select bone 001, we can see that this point here is 100% and then it goes down to zero and here's that 50% we were talking about. What I can do is weight painted is I can select our vertices and we can paint how much influence it will be on there. There we go, I think that's everything. We've now painted that that's 100%. If I were to go to bone here, we can still that see we can still see that there is a bit of green here, so that's still getting some influence from here. What we can do now to remove that is we can come up to the top here, bring it down the weight and then we can paint that all out. There we go. And so what we're painting is actually the vertices. We're not painting the faces, we're painting the vertices. So that's something important to keep in mind. Let's go back into object mode. Let's select this piece here, pose, rotate X, and now we're back to what we had at square one. If you like this video, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps me out and keeps up to date my content.